it's no secret that the Leo Lions are playing some good basketball right now. Joining me is head coach Kerry Cogdell. And coach, you guys are 4-0 to start the season. Every win coming against an SAC opponent. What's been the key to this team putting the hurt to some 3 and 4A traditional powerhouses? Well, I think it really helps that we have a lot of guys back from a year ago. You know, things have... You know, obviously COVID has changed things this year and guys have been coming and going and I think it's been a huge advantage to us early just to have a lot of guys returning. And, and when you've got a lot of experience back and some guys are missing practices and some guys are coming and going, I think it, it helps in particular early in the year. You've got guys on this team that can shoot. You've got guys that can play well inside. How much of this success has been about players being able to play a complete game both on the offensive side and defensive side of the basketball? Well, I think to beat teams that are in the SAC, you've got to play both ends of the floor. You know, it's they've, they've been four very physical games, and and you've, you're, you're going to have to be able to guard guys who are athletic, guys who can shoot it. And on the offensive end, you're going to have to be able to take care of the ball and go inside, and, and we've been able to do a little bit of both. Now, coming up on the schedule, you start conference play at Huntington North on Friday. How do you maybe carry some of this hot start into any eight play coming up? Well, we know it's going to be a, a tough contest, and Huntington North has some guys back who, who have really improved over the last year. And I felt like last year throughout the year, they were one of the most improved teams from beginning to end. And so we know it's, they're, they're a well-coached team. They're going to be very disciplined. We're going to have to play really well. You mentioned the COVID aspect of this. How tough has it been as a head coach to not only navigate your players through a normal season, but to have to add COVID on top of that? I think it's very difficult, just as far as the continuity goes. You know, we, you put something in and you're missing six guys on that day, and then you got to go back to that for those guys. And that's why experience helps because, you know, those guys can kind of reference from a season ago, but you don't get the reps in early in the year. I think, I think it's probably caused a little sluggish I, I think most coaches would probably tell you across the board it's been a little sluggish start um, but I think we'll find the groove and it's just a new norm for this year you know coach 4-0 not bad way to start the season but you told me that you don't feel like you guys are playing your best basketball yet what is it going to take to get you to that point well I wish I knew it had that answer but you know it's early and like I said I think you know everybody probably feels that way it's just going to be reps and getting some continuity going and Throughout the season, once you get those reps and you're headed down the stretch, nobody wants to be peaking right now. You all want to be peaking at the end of February, and, and we were a year ago, and I think we have expected to pick up where we left off a year ago and be as smooth as we were, and, and we haven't been in all areas. You know, we've played well, and we're finding a way to win, um, but, I, but I feel like there's more potential there for us. Did you know it was money as it was going towards the rim? I was a little skeptical, but it looks pretty good. You know, this team is very competitive. You saw it on the challenge right there. How has that competitive drive led to your guys' success in the season? Um, you know, we work hard every day in practice, uh, come out here and compete. And I think when we go up against uh, bigger teams, it really helps us out there. Yeah, speaking of those bigger teams, to be able to tackle four SAC opponents to start off the year, how big of a momentum swing has that been for this team? Uh, it's great for us. I mean, usually we're not playing those teams. Um, so it helps us in the future. Uh, we're a lot tougher now, I feel like, and I think it'll help with our success. Talking about the future, up next you guys start conference play at Huntington North. How does that positive momentum kind of carry over as you start conference play? Um, I think it helps us a lot. Um, you know, taking those wins and carrying them over, um, we're coming in and I think we have a good attitude about things, and I think that helps us, um, helps our success. What has it meant to you this season to be on the Leo Lions basketball team? Uh, it's a great program. I mean, I don't know. We, we're out here every day, and we help each other get better. I think that's the best thing is that we want each other to get better. Kind of off the spin of that, why does this team deserve to be the team of the week? Um, you know, I think we come out here and work hard every day, and um, I don't know. We work our butts off. DJ, a 4-0 start to the season. When it comes down to crunch time, how is this team finding the will to win? You know, definitely just our team. Um, everyone plays well together, and we just bond really well. And so I think going into the game, you know, we just have that comfortability with ourselves, and we just go out there and get, get the game. So, Playing in an SAC gauntlet to start this season, how has coming out of that victorious kind of given you guys a morale booster to start the season? You know, it definitely boosts us very well. Um, you know, of course, playing all SAC games, like 4-0, oh, 
definitely gives our team confidence. You know, we just come in here every day and get better. At least 1% is what our coach tells us. So we just work on that every day, and hopefully we go undefeated. Looking ahead to conference play, how do you use this hot start to give you guys an advantage heading into any eight play? You know, like I said, just um, sticking to the team, you know, what we know, what our coach t teaches us, like not going out of our, like, but we're, our comfort zone, you know, just doing what we do as Lions. So definitely just going in conference and playing together. Congratulations. The Leo Lions are on the prowl, and they're your OPS Team of the Week.